We'd had a quiet spell for five or six years in the 5,000 meters, and then along came this cocky young man from Birmingham. This was Ian Stewart in his first major championship, and he'd been leading for four or five laps in the 5,000 meters, and then he decided, right, I've done my bit of pacemaking, I'm not doing any more, and he moved out of the outside, and he actually stopped and gestured to the others to go on and take the pace, and the psychological advantage he gained by doing that. The audacity of the man, you're not, you don't do things like that in a 5,000 meter race. And Ian Stewart must be very lonely indeed out there, wondering and knowing and hearing that East German, who was the bronze medal winner at Budapest, breathing so heavily behind him. They're all gathering now as they come up with four to go. Two Russians in the first five, two Britons, and also moving through his parliament of Belgium now. Stewart in front. Dista, East Germany second. Sharapetinov of Russia third. Shots of Russia fourth. Then Puddyman's of Belgium. And Stewart's actually invited them. He stopped there. He looked at him wide, 196. He said, we've had enough of that. Get on with it. And it's the number two Russian Shopcha now who's taken it over. Sharapetinov in second place, the Russian champion. This boy of 20 years of age decided he'd done enough and it was time somebody else did something. And he's quite right too. He couldn't afford to be exposed in front as they gather for the final attack. Shopcha leads. Sharapetinov looking to see where the trouble is. This time it's Puddyman's of Belgium, who finished 12th in the Olympic Games in Mexico, and he hits the front as they come round with two to go. And Stewart goes with him. Stewart staying the pace. Dista now goes up third. A lot of banging and bumping going on, and no wonder. Just over a lap and three quarters. Puddyman's Belgium. Stewart, Great Britain. Sharafettin of Russia, Dishna, East Germany, Blinston, Great Britain, Ardizoni of Italy, and Karika of Yugoslavia. Shopcha, the other Russian, is beginning to drop back, and Najdan of Sweden has made a move up as well. And now it's Ian Stewart with a lap and a half left for Great Britain. This is a very early move by Stewart, and Dishna, third in the European Championship in 1966, goes second. Sharafettin is third. In fourth place, Ardizoni of Italy, 5th, Blinston, Great Britain, 6th, Puddyman's of Belgium, and in 7th place, Karika of Yugoslavia. And Stuart's really pushing them now as they come up towards the bell. A really sustained effort. 400 metres left. Stuart lead. He may have just gone a little bit too soon. Sharafettinov there. Diesner is there, but Stuart stretched them out. Blinston in 4th place, and the race between the four now as they come round with just over 300 metres left. And what a run. Blinston goes through. Blinston goes third now. Stewart still leading. The Russian champion moving on the outside, and Stewart responding, but he can't hold him. Sharapetinov now will get the curve. Stewart in second place, and he must wait round the bend. It's these two now with Blinston not closing anymore. And surely Stewart will sit, sit and attack off the bend. The Russian may have gone too soon himself. And here comes Stewart again. Another tremendous run off this bend. And Stewart two yards clear. It's Stewart, two yards clear now, with Sharafettinov trying to come again, 50 yards left, and Stewart's going to win the 5,000 metre championship. Truly magnificent run. Sharafettinov second, and Blinston takes the bronze for Great Britain.